Yo, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be doing ICAU 1 from Mold Hub. This box order by Easy. And yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so I'm going to start our terminals here. I'm going to start running a net discover minus r 10.0.0.1 slash 24 slash IAT0. By doing this, we do get the IP of the box, 10.0.0.54. So I'm going to do control shift z run an mmap scan minus sc for default scripts, minus s for, for numeration, and scan all ports in the IP. By doing this, I'm going to do minus v for verbose. Here we do have port 3306 for MySQL, port 22 open for SSH, port 80 open for HTTP, and port 33060 for MySQL X rate. So let's start by visiting the IP address. By doing this, we do get a QDPM 9.2. So I'm going to do control U2 the source code. And it doesn't seem like we do have anything, right? By doing this, we can probably search up for like a version for like an exploit. So I'm just going to search up for a lay exploit. Or maybe like exploit db and here um it does seem like we do have a uh, qtpm 9.1 which we can get rce um it doesn't really matter because we're going to do this manually anyways and we can we really don't need a script to get us a reverse shell right so i'm going to do control uh control c control shift z i'm running go buster dir mode minus u minus w for users share word list we'll do dir buster directory list 2.3 medium.txt we'll do extensions as html txt and also php by doing this, we have a robots.txt. So I'm just going to check like the ballot ports on Nmap. So you're going to show that there's no robots.txt under port 80. So there's really no point of uh, checking robots.txt, right? Uh, we do have a slash install here. So I'm going to go to slash install, go to database config. Here we can specify our host, port name, user database username. So for the host, we can start by specifying 10.0.069 since we're going to be hosting this on our local host, which is going to be the Kali's machine, right? The one I'm on right now. For the database port, we can just leave this blink. Uh, for doing this, I'm just going to copy this and search up like the installation for Debian. Uh, so let's see if we can look at some like documentation on how to run these commands, right? So I know we have to uh, create a database and everything. So before just copying this database or before copying these commands, I just want to make sure that we understand what these commands are doing, right? So here we do create a database for qdpm underscore db. So this can create a database. We're going to create a user identified by a password, right? So this is going to be the password for this user right here. And it's going to create a user as qdpm underscore user, right? Here we're going to grant all privileges on qdpm underscore db and user at localhost, right? So I'm just going to copy this. Um, before doing that, we actually do need to make sure that we do have uh, MySQL running. So I'm going to do my scale. We'll do my su. We'll run this as root minus p. And if you do get long successful, that means it is running. If it's not, it should tell you right. Another way to check is by doing like system CTL. We can do like status. Let's check for like the status for my skill. And you do see that this is running right. Another way to check is start by running like all, all scan all ports on your local host. Do like local host. You do see the uh, port uh, 3306 for my skill, right? So since we can log in, I'm just going to do mysql minus u, we'll run this as root, minus p, I'll enter my password. So we can press um, do control shift v, and we can just create a database for qdpm underscore db. Next, we'll create a user, so we can just copy and paste that. We can grant all privileges, press it on that. Before doing that, um, if I go under my slash opt, go to mysql. We get the allow underscore connections dot txt. Uh, first, we do need to allow we do need to allow uh, ten dot zero dot zero fifty four to connect to MySQL database. So that's why I'm going to be copying this and running this against the user rate. So this is going to be against I believe it was QD uh, PM underscore user and also identified by a password right. That password is strong password here. So we can just copy this. Let's turn on that. So here we do have a QDPM underscore, or we can set the password here. We have we did have a QDPM underscore user for the user and then an underscore DB for the database. So we can install the database. Here we do have admin on local host. We can just leave, leave that as default. For the password, we can specify pass. Save this. Go to login as administrator, pass. And we do get a long successful, right? So doing this, I'm going to start by adding a user here. So I'm just going to name a, I'm just going to put this as a proxy for the pass. I'll just put pass and here I'll just put like proxy at locals.com. So I'm just going to copy this, save this. 
we're going to log out. Put this at, put that in there. Put this as pass. Now we can go to projects. Go to add a attachment, which is going to be our PHP root shell. You can go to add project. Go to attachments. And now let's get a PHP ref shell, right? So I'm just going to get this from Pentest Monkey. Go to raw data. Copy this. So I'm just going to w get this onto my machine. It is PHP reverse shell. I'm just going to delete all this since we don't need any of this. Ten zero zero six nine for the port or for the IP and then port 4444 for the port. So now we do our PHP reverse shell right there. So here we can go to add attachments, go to other location. I will go to, let's see. I see one, go to PHP reverse shell, go to general. We do need to specify a name, so I'm just going to put this as shell. Go to attachments, go to save. And now you do see that we do our PHP reverse shell, right? So now this should be under uploads, I believe. We can go to attachments since we did upload it under attachments. Under users would be like um, just under user, right? Attachments. We do have this under attachments. We can copy link location. We can start up our listeners. We'll do all wrap net cap minus LMVP on 4444. So I'm going to curl this. And you do see that we do get a shell, right? So I'm going to do ID and we are dub 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 data. So my export red term is equal to X term. Run a bin slash bash under here. Do minus I. And we are dub 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 data at Debian, right? So I'm going to do ID. I'm going to start by doing some manual enumeration. Go into var. We will see it to uh, backups. We'll do else minus LA. Doesn't seem like we do have anything under there. I'm also going to go under slash opt. And does seem like we do have a SUID bit set as get access, right? If you don't know what a SUID bit set, basically it just runs as we're all the time, right? So we run slash opt slash uh, get underscore access. You do see that this is just catting out this right here. So I'm going to file against get underscore access. Doesn't seem like we do have anything here. Um, just an executable. I'm running strings against get underscore access and see what this is running, right? So here it is showing that we do have the cat command, but there's no file path in here. So maybe we can do like a path manipulation. And this is catting out something under system.info, right? So I'm gonna see if I can cat this out, which, which we shouldn't be able to, right? So I'm gonna start by running, I'm um, copying a uh, bin slash bash. So I'm gonna cat this out to temp slash cat. We'll do chmod plus x to from slash temp slash cat. We'll do chmod 777 to slash temp slash cat. Uh, we do need to export our path. So we do export path is equal to slash temp, pull in dollar sign path. Now we can echo our dollar sign path. And you do see our path is for temp, right? Which is before all these, right? So doing this, we can get we can just run. Um, I'm just gonna run the full path under here. So we'll go to op slash get underscore access. Um, access. We press enter on this. We do ID. Now we we can cd into root. Alice, and there's our root.txt. Well, guys, that's much in the video. Do for lane scrape, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.